Hi everyone. Today we have a, a lot of books. I want to show you something. So I have books about information graphic. This is a book basically like a dictionary. It tells everything about comprehensive illustrated reference on graphs, table, maps, and so on. Then we have from the US Department of Commerce, a very interesting book um, from the 80s, oh, 74, uh, where they compare uh, different pictograms, look at that, and then they made sort of a guideline for um, a unification of the, 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 the pictograms. Then we have uh, a children's book that I, have, that I love. What, what is a ton? What is, what is thousands kilo? So it explained, you know, step by step uh, from 100 pounds to <clears throat> uh, 10 tons to, you know, it, it's to, to actually the, the weight of an entire uh, container ship. So it's a beautiful little book. Uh, I, I love those books. Um, I have, of course, um, this book, publishes Lars Müller publisher from Julie Goodahus, uh, which is very interesting book. It's basically the entire genesis in uh, pictograms, really fun to read. There is a translation here. And uh, I have um, a book that followed me for quite a sometimes yet called wordless diagram from nigel holmes and, and then uh, from the same author uh, a crazy competition so i want to i want to meet uh, nigel holmes um, and talk about information graphic data visualization maybe not but more like instruction manual okay so let's try to do that. Hi, Nigel Holmes. So you immigrated uh, in the US in 1978 to work as graphic director for the Time Magazine. Not art director, but graphic director. And the job involved uh, getting some information. And yes. from the redaction, redaction and then translating it into uh, uh, visually, so to make it understandable for, for the public. So you yeah. made charts, maps, diagram. And when I open a, an instruction manual, like this is for a kid, yeah. right? For a teenager. And it's yes. basically, it's printed in, in gray, right? Yes. So basically you yes. can just read it. It's small, yes. small enough yeah. that you you cannot read it. And then there is one yeah. tiny little piece of drawing down there. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah. And uh, right. so do you, do you think the, the diagram have a sort of a voice or? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, I think, I think that different people drawing diagrams have different kinds of voice. So there's a way of doing diagrams that is basically the international style of road symbols, you know, little rather static, uh, upright stick figures, really, fleshed out a little bit. Um, and any, anybody can do it. That, that's what I like. <laughs> about making diagrams. Nothing that I do, however much I've prepared first, nothing I do is actually very difficult to draw. It's very simple. Uh, and I use, you know, circles and straight lines. I use rulers, I use compasses. The computer is a complete gift. It just draws for me because they're just, they're, uh, it, all the pieces are there. You just have to put them together. Yeah. yeah. I, love, I love in your book, the wordless diagram, uh, which we are going to talk about. I love this one, which is quite simple. It is basically 
you yeah. bring some money, right? Yes. And then you, there is a red hand. I, I, I think that the red hand is like the, the book, uh, the librarian. Yes. Who hand you the book because the yes. white hand, it's you. You write. Yes. That, yeah. Okay. So there is a lot of coding, even in a little story. And then you yeah. take the book. Yeah. And then here you are happy. You, you yeah. read the book. Yeah. That's so this very is, simple. Right. And that, if you open that up, that leads to the title on the back of that piece which is how to read this book. Oh, okay. The white line. Oh, the white yes, line. yes, 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 I see. There is an arrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's an arrow. Right. And, and that diagram, that how to read this book, that is not in the book. <laughs> that, is, that is, that's in the flap. Right. So, yeah, so those are, those are very important little uh, yeah. instruction. And you know what? the don't you think we we have like a uh i we have like our determining moment in our life um where instruction have have came to us you know yeah. so we have yeah. the, the famous uh this one which which uh a beautiful so yeah. i i rediscover those guys uh with my kids yeah. uh yeah. uh lego yeah, those are those are beautifully beautifully yes. done. That's yeah. when you are. Yeah. And then right. and then you have this one, this one here, which is later when you get married, you get you get that. Yeah. You know, this is a ritual, uh, a moment of a, pas a passage, ritual of passage. Right. Uh, Ikea. Young couple, you yeah. have to do this ritual. Yes. To see if your couple can hold. Right. Yes. <laughs> but those are very important. I mean, if you miss it, so an instruction has to be very, very important, right? Yeah. And I think IKEA tried very hard to, uh, to make wordless diagrams. Um, <laughs> they don't always work. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, I, uh, uh, there is a uh, you you tr you try something with another designer uh, yeah. uh, to build something. Can can we watch this movie? Yeah, but with Paul Mike Chenard. Yes, we yes. tried we tried to uh, build something. Yeah, there is a little bit of um, a, you want to show a little bit of the movie. Yeah, it's like one minute. We should look at it. It's it's okay. really cute. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I think we're going to end up with. Yeah. It's actually interesting that this becomes that. Yeah. This means don't put yes. it on on a on a hard surface. Put it yeah. on a rug. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Read the read the instructions. Yeah. Oh, read the instructions. Oh, if you have any questions when you're reading it because you're unhappy, you call. Okay. 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 So that's all right. Now we see what we've got here. Okay. First of all, how do you open this? <laughs> oh, you need scissors. You need scissors. Open <laughs> sharp teeth. It's, it's all scaled. That's pretty That's good. That's your name to me. It's numerous. If you miss someone, you can ask for this number. I think we are the only one in the world who ever will do this. 16. So, we can't do that. Oh, well, I just did. Uh-oh. <laughs> I never did. So you, um, yeah, so what do you think? I mean, it's very important, the, 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 the readability of it, the clarity yes. of things. Yes. The, the, that was a you know a quite severely edited uh, 
version of, of what happened. It took us, I think the total time was about uh, an hour and a half, something like that, to make that simple thing there. And at the end, the bottom drawer didn't actually go in. Um, they left. They left that out. But <laughs> uh, but Paul Meichner, who who I was doing with, has written this great book called Open Here, and this is full of diagram of, di of how to do things um, diagrams. Uh, and he's a lovely guy, Dutch, uh, has his own company in Holland. Well, you should have follow the instruction. You know, it's very simple. Just follow the instruction. <laughs> do you follow instructions? Uh, yes, I do. I you do. Know, my, my son does not and my wife does not. They go straight into the thing and call me later and say, um, help. <laughs> you know that one time I was building a, a tent in the wind and it, it was the dawn, it was already dark and we couldn't yeah. build that tent. And a guy came and said, where is your instruction manual? Because he said, even heroes, even superheroes have to read instruction manuals. <laughs> so let's go in your book. I want to I wanna sh share your book. Uh, yep. I go through a few, a few pages. OK. Uh, and tell me, uh, tell me if, uh, if you see it. I'm going to play it large. Do you see it large? I see it large. Yes. yes. So let's yep. officially launch our our our, our uh, interview. Okay. So this is an explanation that uh, in order to launch a boat, well, first you need a ship, right? And then yeah, you need a big ship. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you need a a, a bottle. champagne bottle. Yes, right. And at that moment, you name the boat. Yes, right. And I, 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 this, this, this comes from the little book, uh, yes. Wordless Diagrams. And um, uh, I, I, I liked the idea that some of the diagrams in this book were, were quite silly. Um, and uh, this is a whole spread devoted to uh, basically one action. It is the complete opposite of most complicated instructions. I just liked doing something that was so silly that uh, all you have to do is swing the bottle against it. It breaks and you say, I named this ship uh, Benoit. Yes. Yeah. And then this one is, I think it's very important because uh, 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 I don't remember exactly when I learned to do that. But yeah. with your diagram, I would have learned earlier. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... I can't do, I cannot do this. I have tried again and again. So this is not a self portrait. Okay, okay. And, and, then, and then you have those, uh, there is a little uh, drawing on, on, on the right. And then, yep. you know, there is, a, I enlarge it to see what it was. Yes. So well, yeah. I mean, this is, this is a little in joke for cartographers uh, because this is a figure of a little, uh, person blowing wind, which shows that the wind comes from this direction generally in a, in an old fashioned, not old fashioned, old uh, map uh, from the Middle Ages. Uh, they were often decorated with things like this, and of course monsters in the sea as well. Yes, I remember those. So, but the, the idea to have an, an, another kind of language into the instruction, yeah. uh, highlighting a detail is, uh, is interesting, sort of a special thing, right? Let's yeah. look at, at uh, another one. Oh yeah, this, this one, uh, uh, pretty special for me because I'm, I'm somewhat kind of uh, unclear in the, in the storytelling, so, yeah. Uh, so there is a guy who comes, he has a helmet, right? And there is a tiger and yes. he has, uh, um, he's carrying a bag with something round in it and then a book. Yeah. And then uh, the number two, the, the tiger is looking at him. We have a little red eye. Yes. And he's sitting and then the tiger is quite interested. The two eyes are open. Mm -hmm. And then he's yawning. The tiger is yawning as the guy right. is reading four yeah. and five is really like yawning a lot 
Yeah. And that's when the action happens. So what, what's uh, going on there? <laughs> well, well this, what, this is, what this is demonstrating is this is a practice run for putting your head in the mouth of a tiger. Uh, and so this is a circus thing. And it, since he is only practicing, he, is, uh, he would probably be wearing the helmet when he, when he puts his head in the mouth of the tiger, but he's practicing with a rubber ball, a red rubber ball, but just so the tiger knows kind of what the feel is like, he's put the helmet on the rubber ball as well, so that, um, you know, as, as the tiger hopefully does not crunch down, uh, oh. uh, uh, because that would be, that would be bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but anyway, this is practicing how to put your head in the, in the, in the mouth of a tiger. Okay, so if you have a tiger, yeah, if you have a that's tiger, the right. that's the, the instruction here, right? And and then uh, there was another one which which was also a little bit uh, intriguing to me. Uh -huh. there, there are elephant in the bottom, and um, this person is turning the head left and right. And I thought, okay, is it about uh, looking past passing the elephant? You know, uh, uh, no. No, the elephants are merely filling up some blank space on the bottom of the page, but they are Indian elephants. And oh. this is how you say yes in India. You shake your head from side to side, and that means yes. I found it very puzzling when I did actually take a trip to India, and I would talk to people and they would be going side to side with their heads meaning I don't understand you, I would have thought, but they didn't, they were saying yes. Okay, okay, so the, dia the diagram or wordless diagram or often instruction are related with the culture, right? Yes, completely, yes, absolutely. So you made this book again here, uh, you had another, uh, cover before and then uh, I uh, like this one you even explaining uh, to a book critic how to critic the book yep yeah uh, um, yeah I mean this this is <clears throat> like like how to buy the book on the inside cover of, of the book itself this uh, I, I don't think I ever did send this to reviewers by the way uh, but this this was you know, how, how to review this book is to look at it, like it, have a cup of coffee and think about it, and then write the review. It's, it's yeah, very, very, uh, very important diagram. Yeah, reviewer can be pretty yeah. tough, right? So it's yeah. good. I, it's nice to tell them. I think it's very yeah. important to remind them to take a moment. Yes. But your language is completely, if we look at this, uh, your language is extremely precise, actually. The guy is uh, 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 putting the head in one direction and then the other direction. So first, his uh, his uh, facial expression is sort of yep. uh, intrigued, and then he's uh, you find it funny, and yep. then he thinks about it. So his glasses are out. So yes. even if when you make it funny, you make it it in a serious way. Well, uh, that's what makes it funny, I think. That, that it is drawn in a very precise way. It's not, it's, not a, it's not drawn in a cartoony way. It's drawn in a very mechanical way. That's, I love it. That's, that's part of the joke, yeah. Yeah, so you are mentioning, so you draw before and you, you uh, go after on, um, on, uh, on illust in Illustrator and you do your... Yes. Yeah, actually, I... I have to confess, I do not use Illustrator. I oh. use an older program called Freehand. Oh, and, I, wow. and I still use it because it is a much better program oh. than Illustrator. Everything I've ever done, all the books have always, have all been in, Illustra in uh, Freehand. Yeah. And uh, of course, well, it's a long story. Adobe bought Macromedia and killed Freehand, but anyway. Let's talk about this one. Yeah, this, this, is this one, this one. So when I was thinking of you, I had this book and then uh, I, uh, 
of course, uh, uh, I used, I, I went on, on this one, which is a, a really helpful and it helped me to cut it. It works also with a chicken. This is for a turkey, right? But it works yep, yep. also for, for a chicken. So that, that helped me. But that one here, I tried and, and funny ones, you know, I thought, oh, it's funny. We, we have at home the same yeah. uh, knife. Yeah. You know, it has three knife. dots. Oh, you I have can't see you. I can't see myself, but you can see me, right? Yeah, we can see you. Yeah, and, okay. then, and then, uh, so there are three dots and then this. Got, but, yeah. And then uh, I, there is the avocado, right? Right so here, here, the avocado. Time right. to understand, so I'm following yeah. Here, I, I, I already pre-cut it, so it's nice. Yeah. We love avocado, you know, we are in yeah. California and, and, yeah. Yeah. and then I try to do that, right? And yes. I almost cut my hand. So, so the, the, so would you put it on a, on a, on a plate? I suggest to put it on a plate because it's really d d d dangerous. Yeah. You, do, you use one of these, you use a cutting board. Yes. So you're not, you're not really holding it. It's on the cutting board. Okay, okay. And then you then you hit down and slice it around. Okay. And then you put it back on the board and and knock it down. Yeah, Shop. but you have also to learn how to uh, hit on the right way. You know, like yeah, yeah. 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 So oh, you, I think you said that I left the hands let the hands out, and I did leave the hands out partly because hands are very difficult to draw, but also, but what I really left out was the board. Oh, there should have been a board there to show that you're not holding it. You know, you're not holding the avocado, but anyway. No, it did a delight. And, and there is a lot of, uh, of, of course, information about food. Yep. And uh, I, I learned something I didn't know that you know, you, you can actually train to eat uh, uh, hot dogs uh, yeah. for competitions. 